what's going on guys uh, out here at a different property today that I've actually never looked for any sheds at and definitely have never deer hunted here over here across the highway all along this ridge is what I call Beaver Creek and I've killed quite a few beaver for this farmer right over here and I think this year I might get some permission to deer hunt this side of the highway. And I'm gonna walk around today for my first time uh, looking for some sheds and mainly just looking for sign. Seeing if this looks like a worthy spot to put in a little more focus to deer hunt and hopefully get permission. Uh, so you guys are coming with me first time and uh, we'll see what's out here. Fresh rub there from this year. I'm up on the top of this ridge now. I just barely see the top of my truck down there. But this opens up to some good ag fields up here. Pretty nice spot up here. In a spot here where we got these ridges coming off. See a ridge coming here into this drainage. And you got another ridge right here. These face south. Man, this just looks like a good place for bucks to cruise through. That ag field is right up here. Looks like an ideal spot for me. Some small tracks there. This big old flat here, this sets in between two drainages. Got an ag field way back there, and then an ag field over here. I could see bucks coming through right here, just running this flat, eating acorns, bumping does. Our overall deer numbers were down so much this year, I'm not expecting to find many sheds at all, if any. I typically, honestly, don't find many sheds, period. Definitely get out and try, but we don't have an abundance of bucks around here. Properties that I typically hunt, anyway. I'm not for sure about this property. But I usually just try to pick out one or two really good bucks and then chase those things around all winter. We just typically don't have a real high population of bucks, um, mature bucks anyway, I would say. I uh, got a lot of pressure from neighboring properties, but I think that's getting better with time. Just got to get past this EHD year and get the numbers to rebound a little bit. But it's always fun checking out new properties. Definitely going to give this one some more thought. And uh, continue to scout it, continue to walk around today, see if I can find any sheds and just more sign in general. So let's see what happens here. Got to stand here right on the property line, facing onto their property. But I'm sure they take a little peek back in here.
All right, I came back out here in the open again. I looped all the way around that and then came out over here and was gonna cut back to this part of the woods and finally found my first shed of the year. But it looks like it's at least two, three, four years old. Little bitty, little bitty tine of it. <laughs> yeah, hard telling how old that thing is. Probably been dissed up quite a few different times. A spider living in there. Well, number one. Not much to brag about, but that's a find. All right, guys, uh, just found my first real shed of the year. Earlier, I found that one out in the ag field. It's probably, I don't know, three, four, five years old, probably. But I just walked off this little ridge here and was gonna come down this trail. And I got a little bit closer than what I am right now. But if you take a look right there, looks like a little decent four point side. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy, but we're on the board. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, I'll take that. Throw that in the backpack. Heck yeah. Here we go. Let me get this camera set up for you guys. All right, I wanted to get that camera set up for you guys, but here it is. Maybe, uh, maybe a two and a half year old. Still really wide on the bottom. Decent. I'll take it. We're on the board, number one. Let's get out here and try to find a bigger one. I know they're in here, but also no numbers are way down. All we can keep doing is trying, right? That's cool. See where it's kind of been laying there? That's awesome. Good stuff. I keep looking, see what we can find, look for more sign. And uh, we'll go from there. Had one die right here next to the water. Bunch of hair. Next to the water, not much water, but part of the skull there. Lower jawbone over here. Next to water, either shot or died of EHD. Be my guess. Unfortunate. Well, crap guys, we were just, I don't know, 150, 200 yards up there when I found that other dead one by the water. And walking through here, saw that bone first, and then came to this. Another really old one, but young buck. Been there for quite a while. Part of it, but always hate finding them dead like that. Not a bad day, uh, 
2.6 miles and about two hours and 15 minutes of walking. Didn't find anything over here on the other side of the highway, Beaver Creek side, but I might start looking at that other side a little bit more as a future hunting spot. Found that one four point side, that really old shed, and then that real small dead head. Um, always makes you wonder, tromping around through there for a couple hours, just how many you didn't see. But pretty good day. Glad to be on the board with a find, and uh, you guys make sure and stay tuned for more. Appreciate you being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.